I'm Professor Sir Chris Evans uh, and I'm a medical entrepreneur, so I invent medical products to try and save people's lives and make some money. I'm really a ginger kid from Port Talbot, uh, from a big estate, Sandfields Estate, uh, and I went to comprehensive school there, a large family of us, and uh, I had a fantastic childhood. As a little kid, I wanted to be a scientist, so I, I just wanted to grow up like the guys on the chemistry set box. I wanted to be bald and hunchbacked with round glasses and covered in fluff and totally insane. That's what I wanted to look like, because I thought, that's a scientist, so, you know, we must look like that. And uh, seriously, I used to look at the blue cover of my chemistry every day and think, one day I'm going to be like him. When I was about 12, 13, I began climbing the mountains, picking wimberries, little blueberries, putting them into tins uh, and selling them at a pound a pint, or one pound ten pence a pint, uh, to all the old grannies who lived in the blocks of flats on the estate. But I also learned that if I cleaned and washed the blueberries, I could get one pound twenty. If I put a little green fern on the top, I'd get even more money. The, the one thing I would have changed, I knew where the mountains were, I knew where the wimberries were, I knew how to pick them, I knew how to sell them, and I knew where the customers were, and I knew how to deal with it. But it's just me who earning 10 pounds a day, I'd go and get 20 of my schoolmates, bung them a few, a few pounds each, send them all up the mountain with tins, guarantee them their earnings, and they all pick 10 pints for me. 20 guys, 10 pints, 200 pints coming back to me, and I'd sell them. Yeah, running your own business, you work it for yourself, so you're following your own dreams, your own passion. I wanted to be my own boss, my freedom to do, follow my own instinct and do all the things I wanted to do, do them my way, to fail and succeed my own way. When things fail, you can hide in a corner on your own and be sad, but that's your fault. And when things succeed, you can celebrate with all your mates. Yes! You know, because it's yours, it's you, it's your little business, your passion, your products. And, and I love it, I love that freedom. I could never work for anybody else, uh, and I haven't done for a long time. <laughs> Like all entrepreneurs, I think I'm just absolutely positive. I'm energetic, I'm enthusiastic. I, I always am. I've got loads of dreams and ideas, even now. I've got more now than I had 30 years ago. And I want to achieve them all. I, I want to get there. And all entrepreneurs are very driven, determined individuals uh, who want to get there. So, uh, you know, I intend to keep going on and on. When you've got a great idea and a concept, listen to all the positive and negative things about your idea, and then change your idea, and then run with it. If you really are determined and you really work hard and you're smart and you follow your dream, you'll get there.